Hello guys, in our last section we try to work with Twitter Bootstrap embedded into the E2 framework. Let's move on to the third section of this course, i.e. security moments and access permissions. One of the most important features of high-loaded and complex web application is its reliability and stability. Millions of people and robots around the world may visit our web application every day. We need to create a robust security system to satisfy our visitors and make our website work like a charm. More precisely, in this section we will learn how to implement role-based access system RBAC, in high load, how to improve security on form submission and how to work with passwords correctly in high load. Now let's see video 3.1. Implementing RBAC in high load. We will look at how to develop complex, reliable, and clear access control system. Such security systems will make our web application stable and credible. How to do this? First of all, we'll look at all access components of Y2. Then we will create users, roles, and permissions. In the end, we assign users to respective roles and the job is done. We can find there is a great explanation of Y2 access control components at the page www.yframework.com forward slash doc 2.0 forward slash guide security authorization.html. Thus, we can use either access control filter, ACF, or Role-Based Access Control, RBAC. ACF is more suitable for smaller sites, which do not require a complex access control system. RBAC provides much more flexible access. Feel free to read the basic concepts to understand it clearly. There are two components in Y2 framework to manage in RBAC. PHP Manager stores all the info in .php files and DB Manager stores all the info in the database. Storing the user rights in .php files requires each change to RBAC system or user roles to be committed to Git and then deployed to VPS, automatically using hooks or manually using FTP, which is not too convenient. That is why most developers choose to use DB Medium for RBAC data storage. Let's use DB Manager component. I have previously added three users with usernames admin, moderator, and author. They all have their respective rights on Highload News site. We will use a hierarchical structure of users' rights, so they will have rights such as Unregistered user can view posts and categories. Author has unregistered user rights and he can also create posts. Moderator has author rights and in addition he can update and delete posts, create and update categories. Admin has moderator rights and he can also delete categories in addition to that. Let's move on to the Building Authorization Data section on Yee's page. I have already created authorization tables in database with migration, which are specified on the same manual page. I then copied this code to slash console slash controllers slash rbackcontroller.php file and made some changes. For example, I have renamed the user roles to author and moderator. I have added permissions for categories as well. This is the function init, which adds roles, permissions, and relations between them into database. There is also a function called assign, which assigns users to their roles so that our RBAC is ready to use. This rbackcontroller.php file will be used to run commands from the console. Let's see how it works. But before that, let me explain the code which I have created beforehand. I have changed one link in the main layout. Now it is called permissions and points to check permissions page. 
Then I have added auth manager to slash common slash config slash main.php file. So this auth manager will be used in the front end, back end, and console applications now. The default role is guest. Each user who visits our site is assigned this role and its permissions automatically. Also, I have added action check to slash backend slash controllers slash site controller dot php. This is the page which tests all our permissions for all the users. First of all, we take all the users and all the permissions from the database. Then we create an empty user to also test unregistered user permissions. Finally, we send all data to the view check permissions and render the page. In the view, we have two nested loops, outer for the users and inner for permissions. If some user has a permission, we show green yes title and red no, vice versa. So now let's go to test our permissions. Click on permissions link at the top of the page. There are just four users and no permissions. Why did we get this result? Because we haven't created any permission yet. Now we run the command ye rback slash init. Update the page. Great, it works. All permissions appear. However, all users have the same permissions. Is it correct? Of course not. Every user should have permissions according to his role, which, for our convenience, have the same name. To achieve that, we just need to assign the created user roles to users. This action, assign, in the rbackcontroller.php does the entire job. We select three user roles from database, then select three users, and finally, we assign the roles to the respective users. And now we run command ye rback slash assign and update the page. Well done. The job is completed successfully. Our access control system is properly configured now. This marks the end of the video. In this video, we looked at access control components in Yi2 framework. Then we built hierarchical structure for our back for our application. And finally, we assigned users to respective user roles. In the next video, we will see how to improve security on form submissions in Highload. See you later.